my name is Dennis Idemir, and um, I'm from Southern California, and I grew up in Istanbul, and I'm a street musician. I started in Turkey um, with, you know, my family being there and everything. At one point, they were, you know, both of them were not doing so well financially. One day, they, you know, both of them separately told me that they can't help me, you know, money-wise anymore. So I had to find a solution for that. And the best solution for that was doing what I love to do, but to a bigger audience, an audience of like 15 million people, which is population of Istanbul, uh, just playing in the streets. I just wanted to escape from that. And I knew that it was going to be very expensive and, and long to live in New York or in Boston or anything like that. So I decided to use the same, I guess, amount of money to, to explore different parts of the world and to explore myself. Even though I, I had everything pretty much figured out, or so I thought, I wasn't really happy with, with the setup that I had. So I decided to leave, um, you know, sold all of my electronics, everything, uh, quit my bands, the ones that I had been playing with for years, uh, broke up with my girlfriend, uh, basically everything. Um, so I decided to make this trip, um, fly to Spain, southern Spain and bike all the way back home. Bought a bicycle and uh, bought a traveler's guitar. Basically flew to Malaga, southern Spain, to Andalusia, and, um, and just started to bike around. Didn't have a tent with me. Didn't have a sleeping bag with me. Didn't have any money. I had almost like $100 in my pocket uh, for the entire three month biking trip. I had to like, see what I was capable of and see what the world had to offer. As soon as that was done, you know, I was done with Malaga, I started biking down even more south. In Gibraltar though, down south, um, I put my, you know, parked my bike somewhere and uh, started playing in the streets with, my, with the strap on of the guitar. And, um, and I was just like, just playing and singing around when this guy approached me. And um, in Gibraltar, they speak in a very weird Spanglish, like Southern Sp Spanish and like Northern English, you know, Spanglish. And uh, he started talking to me in it, and we, be, you know, eventually hit it off with a few of his friends. And um, there were all these like older, sort of like 40, 45 year old, you know, maybe 50 year old guys. Love, they all love like 60s and 70s music. So did I. So we ended up playing lots of like. Um, Beatles songs and like Pink Floyd songs together. At some part of my journey, my tire blew out, and as you might have probably guessed by now, I didn't have any spare tires or, or pump or anything like that with me. Just the bike, clothes, guitar, and a little digital camera. That's it. And um, and so when the tire was you know blown out, I found this like little place where I could get it fixed but I had to do about 120 miles that day and it was raining and my tire had blown out so I had to sleep in, a, in an abandoned house uh, which was on the side of a field and a huge hill full of you know, trees, a forest and had no other option so went in there and pretty scary experience because I didn't really know what was going to happen the next day. Uh, when I was finally in France, I was desperate for money. I didn't have any more money. And that's when I decided to busk, you know, at least every city that I go to in southern France. And 
the first thing I remembered was like the reaction of the people were kind of in between enjoying it and like sort of kind of looking at me and like why are you playing here and like where are you from. As if it were a regular job, I would go outside at a certain time of day and just start playing every single day for two weeks uh, in the same city, in my own spot. And in Marseille, I met these incredible, uh, you know, Brazilian musicians uh, that I was like immediately sort of, I left what I was doing there and like sort of started to follow them to wherever they were going. They each had an instrument playing samba and I never played samba in my life before that so I started learning it from them. And after that I continued the next day, you know, took to train. Um, and then went to Milan, took another train to the end of Italy, basically to, to the eastern point of it, to um, Trieste. And from Trieste I continued biking. Um, in, I eventually arrived in Croatia. So near the end of my journey in Croatia, I was psychologically very you know, tired of like adjusting myself to new cities and um, it was good to be exploring all of those things, but at the same time, it was very tiring to adapt myself every single time. And eventually, this one day when I was in this little town called Šibenik, I met this girl who only busked for a living. That was her only job. Every day she would go outside and play, basically for a few hours. Every single thing that she did, you know, she was able to afford with busking in the street. And it was a great feeling to have met people like that because then I knew that I could always, um, I could always continue doing that. So I, you know, paid a surprise visit to my uncle who lives in Budapest, uh, took a train with like the last bit of money that I had and visited him there. Sold my bike when I was there so I could afford another, uh, you know, bus ticket back to Turkey, back to Istanbul. So, July 25th, um, it was the day that I was back in, back in Istanbul. It was a very good feeling to have seen all of, like the faces that were familiar and the, the atmosphere that was familiar. And that was the moment where I knew that I had crossed an, ex an entire continent on a bicycle and with a guitar. Nothing more than that. When I finally met my family in like a, a whole year, they were very happy to see me and also to know that I had made a huge accomplishment, you know, got into Berkeley, learned a new language, um, crossed the whole continent on a bicycle, and did most of it on my dime. So they were very, they were very happy to see me. All of that experience and like having, you know, played music with people and basically getting, becoming friends and brothers with strangers in every single town in different parts of the world. I was in like 70 cities, hundreds of people that I've asked directions to and like hundreds of people that I stayed with on their, on their couches basically. Seeing all of that and seeing the contrast between that and like Spain, like in France and how East, West and North and South are in different countries gave me, I can clearly say, gave me a huge perspective on what music is all about and, and what my life was going to be like in, in Boston from that time on. The most important thing that I learned from this journey was that you can leave me in any part of the world. I don't have to speak the language, I don't have to know anyone. Just give me a guitar and, and I can find my way.
sick, man. Yeah? That was really, really <laughs> sick.